But I think he was looking for some answers to these questions about his future and was hoping that, that by rediscovering the source of the Carnuba palm, which was the principal ingredient of the products in those days. It was the magical ingredient. It was the product plus, if you will. In the product was the Carnuba wax. And so he, he was chasing after the most important thing for the company, the thing that set us apart from everybody else was that, that ingredient that made it a superior product. And so his, he had the right idea. You go after the most important thing and you try to make certain that it will continue. He was looking for a site where he could establish a plantation to grow and study the Carnuba palm and to see if he couldn't find a more efficient way to harvest the leaves and collect the wax. He called the plantation Raposa. When you get to Fortaleza and you see this palm, it is unique on the horizon. It's a kind of all round where the leaves are, and it's very tall and very straight, and it is the only thing that seems to flourish in that particular kind of environment. All of the other plants and trees are kind of destroyed in the alternate dry periods that they go through in, in the northeast part of Brazil. But the, the palm does very well because it's the wax on the leaves that protects the life of the palm. And so it was aptly called the, the tree of life by the Brazilians, and that stirred my father's imagination, stirs my imagination, and he would talk about it kind of reverently. I discovered many years later that after establishing Raposa, he planted very ceremoniously two carnuba palms, 10 inches tall there. Eventually, Raposa outlived its usefulness, and my father gave it to a Brazilian university. Although it wasn't on our original itinerary, I decided to see what had become of Raposa. As we walked around Raposa, there was really very little left of it. I would go back to my grandfather's speech of 1927, the big buildings for all their solidity must someday be replaced. And in this case, the big buildings were practically gone. But what was still there was the spirit of Carnuba because those trees, those palms, were still standing strong and tall and beautiful. There were the palms my father had planted. It was as if my father was standing right there before me, waiting for me, saying to me, you came, Sammy. Walking up to those palms, I really felt like I was walking up to my father. For a moment, I was a child again, looking up at my dad. And he was just as I remembered him. I thought, there he is. There's my father and what he had done. It was then that I knew I had fulfilled the wish my father had had for me. Sammy, I hope one day you can make this trip. As I thought about the plantation and what my father had done, and then thinking also about the future, I guess I came to the conclusion that as a son, I shouldn't worry too much about whether I have lived up to the expectations of my father, but whether we as fathers live up to the expectations of our children. <laughs>